Greetings, I am sat in my car obviously uh, and I'm at the Manchester Institute of Health and Performance. So if you've been watching my videos you will know that this is where Mr Philbert <laughs> is based. So Phil is just top bike fitter, top physio and yeah I've done videos. Search my channel, you'll find a lot of videos on him. Um, but yeah I'm here because I've got a bit of a knee niggle and I'm not really sure what's going on so I just thought I would share it with you so if you're having any knee issues um, and I've never had any issues and I don't know whether it's because I've I had some new um, cycling shoes and I just guessed the angle of the cleat so maybe it's that but what I find is that when I'm actually riding it eases off so I potentially also think it could just be something to do with my muscles maybe my hamstrings I don't know. I guess we'll just go and see what Phil has to say about it. I mean, Dr. Phil. He, honestly, he has sorted out, like, shoulder issues. He's just sorted out my fit, like, just so, so good. So, yeah, I mean, he's not actually a doctor, but he's a damn good physiotherapist and a damn good bike fitter. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's raining! I'm back. <laughs> 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 you always love when I come to see you with a niggle, but I always love it when I you do like the challenge. Yes. But no, you do always fix me, so I just thought I would share now. It's not a problem. How are we going to do it? So I'll just okay. put the camera down and we'll yeah. test it so, out. Um, we'll just have a look at you in standing. Oh, God, that's so painful. Oh, just stop for one sec. It's like burning. Yes, it would. See the redness there, that's the mm. tissue. Drop your leg over the side of the bed, relax down. I'm just going to do the rec fed now, it won't be as bad. Relax down. It's like carpet burn. So basically, here, yeah. yeah. what you do is you lift the kneecap like this. This has got little, it's little, um, it's called kinesio tape and it comes from Japan. Originally, you'll see sports stars all over the place of it on them. I've seen it a lot. Is that going to stay and on? And it has little glue in it. Yeah, we're going to do, that's why we put that spray on because yeah. you've had massage lotion on it, should do. And what we do is warm it up. I'm not, I'm not rubbing you because I love you. I'm rubbing you to warm the glue on, all right? And uh, there it goes. And what we're going to do is put another bit now. The space that lifts the kneecap and just gives it a little bit of rest. Okay. And it can stay on for a couple of days. And we make your knee look dead fat. Oh, God, look at <laughs> There you go, one fat knee. Oh, that feels gross. I know. But what it's doing, remember, all it's doing is we know the problems <laughs> on the inside of the knee here because this structure's tight. So all we're doing is saying, hey, just give, you a, give, give this bit of a rest. Yeah. And now I'll go down to the foot and support the foot, which will support the knee in terms of altering the loading at the knee, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yours. And then you have your new brand new foam roller. So what have you found then, Dr. Phil? <laughs> okay, Katie. All you've got is really, um, I think you've got a classical sort of gentle builds up in the background overuse injury where your inside of your knees become a bit irritated I don't think you by your own admission you've not been doing that much no. sort of off the bike work stretching wise some no. of us have to do more than others and the, the, the change in shoes you know may have been just the thing that tips you over the edge yeah. and then you get this medial knee pain now I you know I'll have to see you again and review it and everything but I, I think if we go after the ITB with you I've done some loosening sort of fascial muscle work today yeah. and I'm putting some tape here just to help this bit calm down Easy right? it's not you haven't broken your knee but you've got a sore and irritated knee and if we yeah. can get that better that means you get back on your bike cycling actually be good for it so the tape around the foot is is basically what we're trying to do is um just give your foot a bit of support which will change the um loading at your knee ever okay. so slightly and gives it a rest right so that just, i just need to basically roll my itb more i, I think just at all. that's our first port of call right yeah and um like anything, it, you know, if you feel but you feel better when you got off yeah. and walk in, you can still feel it there. It won't remember it's been there for a month, so yeah. it's not going to go away overnight. No, all right. But it should. If we get a change, that's a positive. So it's, just keep rolling. It's nothing you've done so far has worked. Um, you don't have to stretch your hamstrings. Your hamstrings are pretty long enough. But I can see why you fought it with your hamstrings. Yeah. Um, this is why directed care. If we, if we concentrate our energy and resources in the right place, you make a bigger change quicker. Perfect. So we stand up now and have a walk. It should it's all these things in a cut place for a couple of days. Uh. Put them all in. Oh. Feel very tight to begin with, right? <laughs> in about 20 minutes, it's going to be 50% less, all right? Oh, yeah, that does feel better. How's your knee feel? Yeah, like I can't. Can't feel it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I can't feel it, but I just like it just doesn't. Doesn't feel the same. God, how do you know? How do you know this? 
Well, actually, you're very easy to diagnose because you have a. It's not always that. That's so talk. good. That's so, so good. Look with this, I want you to try Steve and keep um, these mm. bits of, try and keep yeah. these tapes on for the next couple of days. Yeah. Um, the tape on the round the knee might come. Don't worry if it does. It's now. It's almost like me being with you, going, "No, walk like this. Yeah. Walk like this. Yeah. It means that structure that's irritated. Remember, you've only felt it now and again yeah. for a month, but it's building up. That's an irritation. Yeah. And um, you leave it on, and then when it comes off, we'll see how you are on a review next Woo-hoo! week. Woo! Thank you. Amazing. And then I've got this. This looks like an absolute pain <laughs> machine. So I'll show you some rolling that I'll do later on. And that's it. Thank you so much. Oh, also, knee pain. You've got yes. your own YouTube channel now. Indeed, I've got my own YouTube channel. I've got help by you, yours truly. But um, uh, I, yeah, so we'll, some of those podcasts coming out will be about you know, things that we can help people with, like knee pain. You know, yeah, and, We've already, you've already done a video on knee pain. Yes. That's already online, so I will put a link to it below and a link to your channel. So yeah. if anyone wants to go and subscribe, go and get some knowledge from the master that is Phil. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Two days since I went to see Phil with my knee and foam rolling has done it the world of good. And I think because Phil massaged it as well, strapped my foot up, it's just made it just so much better. And I can't even believe in two days that that pain has gone. And I wouldn't say it's gone 100%, but it is, I would say, 90% better. And that's literally in two days. And I just kind of want to stress the importance of... Um, having a physio that you really trust. Phil, I trust 100%. Anything he tells me to do, I am going to do exactly 100% I'm going to do it. So that's why I've been rolling. And the other thing is, foam rollers are just amazing, amazing pieces of equipment. And what Phil was saying is something that I've slowly learned over the last couple of years, is that if you have got a pain... In, in some part of your body, it's not always the issue with that particular thing. So I thought it was my knee, but then because I've learned a lot more, I'm like, actually, I think it's probably my hamstrings that are tight or something connected to the knee. So don't always think that the pain is where the, the problem is where the pain is because sometimes it's not always the case. So yeah, I just want to give you a bit of an update on the knee, how it's going. And also another thing that Phil told me to do was I had, you know, I've got my new winter like cycling shoes and I've set the cleats up and I think the cleat was set a little bit too far forward. So he told me just to bring that back a little bit. I brought it back and it is, sorry, my nose is running, it's pretty cold. <laughs> um, I brought the cleat back and it actually feels a lot better as well. So maybe that had something to do with it. But yeah, I just had a very tight um, IT band. So... That is pretty much it for this video. I'll keep you updated. If you've got any other questions about knee pain, um, like I say, go over to Phil's channel. He's got um, loads of specific content about pain and cycling and bike set up and saddles and stuff like that. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description if you want to find out more information from him. I will see you next video. I hope you find that helpful. Yeah. See you later. Get back to a bit more rolling. But it is so painful.